handang-handa na daw maglaro si Kirby matapos pagalingin ang kanyang kaliwang tuhod. Hindi naman na daw siya worthy dahil naubos na daw ang kanyang worthy no mga panahon na nasa sideline siya. At kailangan daw niya ngayon ibigay ang kanyang lahat dahil oras na para maglaro. Balik sa inyo. Thank you, Erika. We welcome you to the uh, second quarter. Global Port against Ginebra. Willie Miller now part of the ball game. This is his first attempt. And that will be a loose ball foul against Kelly Nabom. How would you summarize that uh, opening quarter performance, uh, particularly by Hinebra? Barangay Hinebra just sharing that basketball. Ten assists in that first quarter. Only three partidos at Global Court. And when you have a lot of assists, that means your field goal percentage goes high. A lot higher, 71, or rather 68% at the end of that first quarter. Tapos, yung turnovers, they forced Global Port into a number of turnovers and scoring nine points off those turnovers. So what you think mo, offense and defense, Hinebra was able to take care of what they needed to do. They forced turnovers, they were able to score off tur those turnovers, tapos they shared that basketball. Pataas ang kanilang field goal percentage. On the other hand, if you're Global Port, after all the positives that ginawa ng Hinebra has marked the next, you're, 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 you're in this game. It's not like you're down by you know, 15 or 18 points. Uh, Nebra well within reach para dito sa Global Port. They have Miller, Rudy Linganay, Kelly Nabo, John Don Salvador, and Marquis Cummings on the floor. Here's Cummings. Separation and basket. Marquis Cummings, he knows when he needs to score. He takes it, he asks for that basketball, and he has a, a variety of moves to be able to extricate himself. He also has that jumper. Kaya napakahirap na pigilan itong si Marquis Cummings. Okay, now that Kirby is back in action, what kind of uh, dimension does he add to this uh, Hinebra attack? With Kirby Raimundo now, you have a big guy who can actually create for his teammates. So right away, pinupuntahan nila si Kirby at the post, or sometimes they will set him up on top. The good thing about Kirby, he knows when to shoot and when to pass. The thing is, kung hindi pa siya ganun katagal nag-iinsayo, iba yung magiging ikot ng bola. But as you mentioned, you know, his teammates, uh, they are giving him the ball uh, in his stint on the floor. I mean, if you look at Kirby, yung career, ano ba siya? he's always been a scorer. That's, he, that's when he's most effective. So you got to give him that basketball to be able to maximize his playing time. Look out. Oh, Cummings almost Mark lost that ball. Recovered in time and uh, scored a layup. And Global Port cutting down and he never lead to seven. You put it perfectly. Even though sa ganda ng laro nitong Barangay Hinebra, Global Port just there within striking distance. And that's where you want to be. Give yourself an opportunity to win the basketball game in the fourth quarter. And now back-to-back -back third overs against Hinebra. And Mamaril erases that shot by Rudy Linganay. One of the things you don't want to do when it's a bigger guy against you is to actually slow down and give him the opportunity to block that shot. Here's a uh, Presto defensive stop uh, brought to you by Presto Brake Fluid for superior braking action and safety. Siguradong nasa mabuti ka. Come on. Global Port will retain possession here in the early moments of the second quarter. Billy Mamare will go back to the bench and uh, quick rest there by uh, Dior Lobo. John Dunn with nowhere to go. Outside, Jay Wash. We had a uh, solid opening quarter. John Dunn. Throwing some moves here and scoring on the turnaround. And John Dan Salvador, one of the heaviest guys down low. You know, he may not look it, or he maybe is not as tall as the others, but napakabigat na pag nakausap mo sila, Dorian Peña, and you ask them, who are the guys na may, mahirap ni Uro? John Dan Salvador on top of that list. It's not hard to see when you look at his frame. When you look at his body, you know he's built solid. But ang kailangan mo tignan talaga dyan yung lower body because if you look at the size of John Dan Salvador, parang kasing laki ng dalawang hita ko na pinagdikit eh. Of course, on cue, Rap Labagala telling you, Dominic, it's not about the size. It's not about the size of the lower body. It's about the size of the heart. <laughs> Up with the floater. And, Kasama uh, din ba yan sa minions? Uh, si Rabo, syempre automatic na yan. Automatic member na yan. Meantime, here's uh, Nabo. Missed it, and uh, that will be last touch on Kelly Nabo. In fact, there are two minions on the floor right now. Rabla Bagala, 
Kasi nga, ibigyan ko yung tatay niya. Eh. Oo, oh, anak ko, napakabait na tatay niya. Anak ko, grabe magkwento yung tatay niya. Ito naman si Rudy, eh, tagal nilalakad sa akin ni Gary David. <laughs> <laughs> nilakad pa ni Gary David yan. Para lang mga sama. Here's Lohorn. Up defense by Nabong, but uh, contact there against John Dan Salvador. Hindi ba may moniker ka na dati kay Rudy Lingara? Oh, Meron! Meron, Rudy the Anai Lingara. <laughs> no, because if you, if you translate that, might, mighty might. Okay. Oh. In fact, yung daddy din niya. Eh, ko ba ba nakakaibigan ko yung mga daddy nila, no? <laughs> Nagpapakita lang ng edad? Ano, uh, natuwa. Nag, nagpasalamat. Talaga? Nakala ko sugurin ako, eh. Nagpasalamat <laughs> naman, eh. <laughs> Ikaw ba si Miko? Sabay ilag? Oo, oh, sa akin hindi po. Ako po si Mago. <laughs> Mas delikado yun. Oo. Oh. Uh, okay. We did have a mighty might before back in the day. Si Marte Saldana. He used to play for uh, Gold Eagle, Alaska also. Just for the benefit of those who are much older. As, Yung mga nabasa uh, natin. Para mabasa ko lang yan sa mga ano, encyclopedia. Uh, Jay Wash connects. At yung mga pinapakita sa mga greatest games. Ayun, doon ko nalang nalalami. Kasi puma, ang pagkakala ko PBA history eh, ito nga ano na eh. Matito, L.A. Tenore. <laughs> anyway, there's Baracayel for three. And he misses it. Rebound, Willie Miller. Score na lang, 40-34. But over seven minutes to go in the second period. It is Tabo. Sends it to John Dan. It's an all-beef matchup right there. John Dan will miss. Rebound, Kirby. Reminds you of one of those drills na ginagawa sa ensayo. Yung inahawak ng assistant coach yung padding. Tapos yung subukan mo postehan. Yeah, that's right. John Dan has that exact, exact frame. Our Keith Cummings will uh, check back in the ball game here. John Dan will sit down. And then Billy Momaril will also return. And Kirby will take a break. You know, even if John Dan Salvador did not make that shot, napapagod din naman itong si Dior Lohorn sa kakabanga at kakadepensa dito kay John Dan Salvador. So he may not have been productive due to points, pero napagod din itong si Dior Lohorn doon. In the meantime, there was a foul against Markeith Cummings. Um, and that will put Global Port in the penalty situation. Billy Mamarel on the line. Jump it with the... Uh, I love it. Oh, I, love, I love the shirt. Pwede pang mall. Pwede, pwede. Surfboard na lang ng mall. Okay, for more on Japet Aguilar, let's send it back to Miss Erica Padilla. Nafe-feel pa rin daw ni Japet na medyo loose pa rin ang kanyang two-hold, but it's a lot better. With rehab, he's hoping that he will be ready to play against TNT this Sunday. Disappointment on not being able to play is there, of course, pero hindi niya minadali ang pagpapagaling dahil gusto niyang masiguro ang giling at para maibigay ang best against the former team. Balik sa inyo. So let me just confirm, Erica, he's saying that he might play against Stock and Tex. Yes, he might play against Stock and Tex. At yun talaga naman daw, iniwasan niya yung paglalaro the games before that just to prepare for TNT. Okay. Excellent report. There's uh, Japit, so you might see him back in action. Siyempre, nagkato pa against his former team pa. In all likelihood, the stakes of that game will be very high. Stock and Tex, ano? A lot of kumakalaro si Japet. Yung first game ni Asi Taulava pabalik. Talking text din ang kalaban. Ayan. Meantime, mapaparod na ang Cine Filipino Film Festival. September 18 to 24, Cine Filipino, Kwento. Um, uh, Wilson is back. And, uh, Kapatulo pa rin. Ibuti itong sila. Pasintak. Oh, bigo ka takot yan. Ngayon sa mga Willie Wilson, si Willie Wilson, one of the players that ever since he came to the Philippines to play for La Salle in college, hanggang nag uh, PBL siya, hanggang dito sa PBA, hindi nagbago yung kanyang laro. Which is the undersized four. Oh, the undersized four, but the good thing about it, always been effective. 43-37 in Ebra still with the advantage here as we near the halfway mark of the second quarter. Great matchup in the point guard spot here with Babla Bagala and Rudy Lingganeng. By the way, our former UE Red Warriors. As Baracael misses. 
Miller pull up three. And then almost got his own miss. Well, he knocked down a three-point shot before that attempt. So Miller trying to see how hot he is so far in the second quarter. Oh, it's, uh, it's an eight-second backward violation against uh, Mark Hinebra, against Hinebra, actually. And the laps there by Hinebra. And right now, we'll have a timeout. Uh, Hinebra on top. We have an uh, eager Friday crowd uh, inside the, uh, the Big Dome. Mr. Chris Panchero, the top pick for the uh, PPA D-League. I know a lot of people. And they're mostly female. They're uh, waiting for him to finally make it to, you know, make it to the uh, the PBA. What's that guy doing? There? That's Jen Reyes, your kapatid ni Jen Reyes. Pwede pasok security yan. Hindi mo dapat si Jen ang katabi. Report niya yan. Okay, uh, here's uh, Washington. Washington for three. Mark Agiwa gets the rebound. Just the halfway mark in the second quarter. Barangay never needs to be careful not to keep Global Port in the thick of things because Global Port, you know, ever since they've been playing as a team, alam mo, tignan mo na lang yung uh, nangyari against San Nikof, yung away na yun. I feel that that incident actually brought, brought this team, team a lot closer. And Rudy Lingana connects. You know, things like that happen. Dalawa lang namay, either bonding experience, ah. Lalo kayo, pati kayo mismo, gaaway-away na rin. As uh, Ellis fires and scores. Those are the scenarios that, you know, one thing, how you react will define or will, can be something that you will use to define your team's character. With a miss, and that will be last touch on B or low. Rudy Lingana will sit down. Quality minutes for Rudy Lingana and Sol Mercado is back on the floor. A lot of people are saying Sol Mercado, you know, needs to score a little bit more para sa global port, but he's really taken a back seat in terms of scoring, trying to get the guys that he feels are scorers that need his help. You know, that's that's a, a great thing para kay Sol Mercado, but also kapag kinakailangan ng pumutos ni Sol kaya kaya din. Four minutes to go in the first half. Mark Nagiwa here on the left side. Mark pulling up. No go. Rebound for Willie Miller. Just a four-point deficit here. Um, hey! As Sol. I mean, that's really Sol's specialty. You know, when he attacks, it's hard to stand in his way. Even you, two goals, all defenders. Somebody that drive, pick up charge. But if it's against Sol, it's not that simple. Lucky, eh. Especially if you're a point guard that's smaller than him. Exactly. And yeah. most of the point guards, I mean, let's face it, are either smaller or thinner. You know, mas manipis kay, uh, kay Sol. So right when he's coming at you, nag-iisip ka na, masakit to, masakit to, masakit to. <laughs> but Sol Mercado, you know, aside from him being big, he's so quick. And he's quick in changing direction. And once he gets that contact, he's strong enough to be able to take that contact and make the basket. And the contact that he takes is not just from the small guys, but even the big guys. Well, the pass eventually ends up with Willie Wilson, but he missed the layup. So now it's just a three-point game. Global Port can tuck the lead down to one, and Sol uh, will take two. On cue, itong si Sol Mercado being a lot more aggressive. Pagka set place, he's trying to set up his teammates, guys like Willie Miller, guys like Gary David. But on the fast break, that's when he takes his cue on those opportunities. Second personal against LA Tenorio. That will be the second team foul against Inebra. First free throw goes in for Solomon Mercado. Okay, uh, I think we have a report on Sol from Erica. Our destiny is in our control. It's not going to be easy, but alam daw nila what they need to do to get their, to their desired the situation. Yan ang sabi ni Sol Mercado. It's playing together, making adjustments with trust para hindi makakanya-kanya sa laro. Right now, the most comforting feeling he holds on to bilang batang player is the knowledge that the management will do everything for them to be a winning team. Balik sa inyo. Malaking bagay yun, ha? For a player that they understand that the management is there to win and not just to be able to be part of the competition. Washington pulling up a lot of confidence in that shot. Taha 
Uh, could not secure the rebound, but it was tapped out by Helterbrand. 2 and 59 to go in the second quarter. And Nebra is on top by two. Four. Okay, just to set the premise of this game, Hinebra is at 3 and 4, Global Port at 3 and 5. What is uh, what are the goals of these two teams tonight? Barangay Hinebra needs to sweep their last two games, including this one, to be able to be assured of that fourth spot. And among Global Port needs to win this basketball game to go up to 4 and 5 and be assured of the quarterfinals. Dahil kapag natalo sila, komplikado buhay nila. And one of these teams after this ball game, mas well, complicated. Yes, mas complicated. It's complicated. It's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> Parang para Facebook status nila. <laughs> I think that's really the simplest way to explain all the, you know, the multitude of uh, scenarios uh, affecting a lot of the teams. You know what I like about this conference, Nico? Usually, ito, second to the last elimination day game na to, eh, di ba? Usually ngayon, meron ka ng isang team na siguradong out. Ay, parang spoiler na lang. Oh, di ba? Lohor connects. Spoiler, or it means mga no bearing games, mm. but uh, well, not for this tournament. Not for this tournament. So, you know, credit to the commissioner's office with this type of a. Uh, well, Dior Lohorn, look at that shot first. You know, again, still getting it. It's too easy still for Dior Lohorn. Rested a little bit in terms of scoring. We're in a shortened conference style, but not pangaganda ng uh, format. Beneficial to all 10 teams. Under three minutes remaining in the first half, and Global Port staring at a five-point deficit. As Sol gets away, what a second quarter for Sol Mercado. We talked about him being aggressive. Eight points now in total for Mercado. Interception there by uh, Marquis Cummings. As we enter the last two minutes of the first half, Sol being hounded here. Find Jay Wash, Washington, nowhere to go. Great defense by Wilson. Taha at the post. Yusef Taha pulls up, he missed it, rebound Helter Brand. Yusef Taha will have to learn how to make that shot consistently. Reach and foul against uh, Yusef Taha. Kanina pa na sa penalty ang Global Port, so two free throws here for JJ Helter Brand. Barangay Hinebra, after that initial run in that first quarter, hasn't really been able to put on the gas dito sa ating uh, larong ito. After that 10 to 2 run, nahirapan na sila, nakasabay na ang Global Port. Hinebra was leading by as many as 9 points uh, earlier in the ball game. As JJ goes 2 for 2, extends Hinebra's lead to 5. Here's Sol. Talk about being very productive in the second period. And you understand that Saul Mercado, when he's looking for his shot, there's a different look in his eyes. Now it's just a two-point game. Your loan will miss it. Now Global Port can tie the ball game. Maybe even grab the lead with a three-point shot. Here's Cummings against Ellis. Extracurricular activities there between Ellis and Cummings. I know what Okay, Ellis. Not a hugger, <laughs> So holding foul, Laban K. Ellis. 13 foul against Hinebra. One minute remaining before the end of the first half. Taha to Washington. If they can develop that type of a ball game, that Danung Pasayan Yusef Taha. Be able to get guys like Jay Wash easy for that easy dunk. And we're all tied at 50. Elter Brand zigzagging. Help defense by Gary David, but the reach and foul uh, spotted by referee Peter Balao. Once again, Inebra goes back to the free throw line. Great pass. Another great pass. Easy dunk for Jay Washington. You know, one of the games that uh, Global Port and I covered that game. One of the reports sina nila para kay Jay Washington, they understand ng kaling siya sa mahirap na sitwasyon. So in Global Port, they're trying to provide a environment of positivity, just like that. Yeah, no, maraming ano yan. All positive vibes in the uh, center. Sports 5 center with Elena Tayden, Nico Ramos, and of course, the one and only Miss Abby Poblador. Stay tuned for that at the half. Meantime, we have a timeout here with 44.9 seconds remaining. Nebra is on top by two, 52-50.
Nebra was on top, uh, 41, or rather 31-24 at the end of the first. They had that, you know, that very good opening blitz. 10-2 run to start the game. Then Global Port patiently battled back. And then in the, in the second quarter, Sol Mercado, you know, doing almost everything. He's scoring points, he's, he's, uh, he's giving good passes, and then guys like uh, Taha and uh, Jay Wash helping him out. Sol Mercado definitely has been the factor dito sa second quarter. That's why now Global Port is just down by two points. Nung kinailangan siya pumuntos, pumuntos siya. Nung kinailangan siyang mamasa, set up his teammates, he also did just that. We well, also showed you Gary a bit earlier, and Gary also hoping to uh, contribute before the second quarter ends. Here's Sol again, on the move, all the way! Using his quickness, using every single advantage of his physique. 13 points para kay Mercado. As LA fires and misses. Who gets the ball? It's with Taha. Here's Gary on the move. Over to Washington, and Washington is pushed. Coming in Ellis, huh? Uh, we, might have, uh, we might have to watch those two gentlemen very closely. I'm really not a hugger. Yun yung hinahawakan si Chris Ellis, and that's very evident. So now, uh, Global Court, you know what? They can go for the lead here. That shot was blocked by Helter Brand. And now Hinebra can grab the lead to end the second quarter. And that pass is intercepted by Sol Mercado. Three seconds to go. Sol's on the move for the lead. No! Hinebra was on top by as many as nine points. But the huge effort from Global Port. Jay Washington with uh, 12. Sol Mercado with 13. And helping Global Port tie this ball game at 52 apiece. There's Jay Wash. Hitting from the outside, and that uh, great shooting touch in that first uh, quarter, and then it's Hanap to my teammates in the second period. And so we're tied at 52 all at the half. Standby, Sports 5 Center. Next.